Uh, the next story uh, is in the Daily Star, um, and it's eight other lads say we're the daddy. Oh, of, no. oh <laughs> yes, okay. it's the story of the week. Mm. <laughs> the child father. Um, uh, yeah, eight others. You do. This is just like a, I said. It's like a Jeremy Kyle box set. We've got a whole year's worth of Kyle now. We've got the Kyle Channel <laughs> on one story, and uh, there's even. Uh, there's a bookmaker now taking bets on who's the daddy. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's a nice Chantel, taste, isn't it? Chantel, we should it? say, Chantel, mother of little Maisie, insists that uh, there's only been one man in her life. That's a metaphor, and that's Alfie. Mm. Steve, what's that smell? Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the smell of me not believing quite as much as I should. The uh, next story is in the Daily Telegraph. It's a story about the Australian... What's the mood of the Daily Telegraph today? <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> as it is every day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got marmalade all over my. <laughs> <laughs> um, the day. It's just, this is about uh, Tessa Jowell's estranged husband, um, uh, and his name is David Mills, who is going down in Italy. In terms, he's going to serve a little time behind the door. Uh, for a little bit of shady dealing that uh, he had with the president or the ex prime minister of uh, president uh, prime minister of, uh, of Italy, Mr. Berlusconi, right. basically money that uh, he received as a gift for helping uh, Berlusconi in a couple of court cases over the years as his lawyer uh, was used to purchase a home uh, at a time when it was perhaps not seen as the best thing to do. Uh, her, uh, her, his wife, Tessa Jell, being a um, a high-ranking cabinet minister. Yes. And uh, they are estranged, but uh, it, it, it'll be interesting to see how this story yeah. pans out. In, it in is worth future. saying, of course, that she uh, was found not guilty in a parliamentary inquiry. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, this was, this... and that he continues to maintain his innocence. Absolutely. And this is something that he was looking... He was kind of involved in the Berlusconi camp mm. when they met. This is something yes. that kind of predates both... And, and the pair, I mean, uh, uh, Joan and he are also separated. They are separated. Her, her statement was really prominent. Absolutely. And she's always... Pictured behind him very much. Uh, and the last story is in the Daily Mail, um, and uh, this, it's an absolute peach of a story. Um, it's about Hitler having um, terrible table manners. Uh, <laughs> can I just read you the first two sentences? To the Please. wartime world, he was nothing less than a monster. In private, it seems, Adolf Hitler was equally unappealing. <laughs> <laughs> It's just unbelievable that well, he, he chewed his nails and, and he broke wind quite good. Yes. We all do that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and I'm reminded of the wonderful Rich Hall's line who, who said when he heard that Hitler also had very bad teeth, you know, the more I hear about that man, the least I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's that thing of just going, why? It, 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 the inference of this is just is extraordinary. Basically, it's a document that, that someone who died with Hitler 30 times gave to a British agent at the end of the war. And uh, it was a house clearance, and there was a four-page document detailing the time that he spent sat at, at the uh, table with Hitler. And he and said so he was terribly uncool. Bad manners, farted a lot, and... Oh, yeah, and uh, killed six uh, million Jews. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Although, of course, not according to some people out there that uh, then get forgiven by the Pope, which is another story for another day. Uh, first story is from the Daily Star. This is the continuing story of, of um, the, the Daddy Alfie. Oh, yeah, what's the, he done the, now? Well, he's... Uh, there's a lovely picture of him uh, dressed in a hoodie with a middle finger and uh, Alfie Patton, I'm the daddy, if I'm not, F you all, I'll still be there. That's what's emblazoned that's on, what's, the that's what's written on the back of his jacket. That's what's written on the back of his jacket. Yeah, isn't it lovely? So we're talking about bad language. He's got it printed on his jacket. So um, if he Fs them all, does that mean there's going to be hundreds more baby mazes around? Well, he's, he's pretty fertile, isn't <laughs> yeah. he? Uh, yeah, so that's, that's the Somebody story. Somebody is. <laughs> yeah. That's the story that keeps on giving.